Would you please? Yes, certainly. In a little closer, if you don't mind. Up a little higher. Thanks. Now, still. This is Venice we're coming into, isn't it? Yes, we'll be there in about two minutes now. This is the lagoon. Oh, boy. Got to get a shot of this. Oh, golly. Fifth one of these I've used already. I haven't even got there yet. Oh, thanks a lot. Is this your first visit to Venice? Yes. Is it yours? No, I've been here several times. Several times? You have? Yes. I hope you're going to like it. Like it? I've got to. I've come such a long way. I've saved up such a long time for this trip. Do you think I maybe won't like it? <laughs> I'm sure you will. But not everybody likes it in the same way. Some people find it too quiet, some people find it too noisy. And it is very noisy. But the majority find it very beautiful. Yeah, well, I guess I'll settle with the majority. <laughs> well, here we are. <laughs> Where bus? Yeah. 
We docked with Southampton at 10.37 a.m. on June 15th. And when do you fly from Portugal? September 9th. This year? Well, what do you know? did a crackerjack job. They planned every step of the way. Here, you take a look at this. Here's today's itinerary. 8 a.m., breakfast. 9, Doge's Palace Bridge of Size. 10, San Marco Cathedral. 10.30 to 12.30, IA. IA? What's that? Independent activity. We're allowed two hours of it every day. Kind of unique. You see, Miss Hudson, this is our first trip abroad. Mr. McAlady retired this year, and well, we don't have any children, so we just decided to have our little fling. For Pete's sake, Edith. Miss Hudson. At 
the pensione fiorini. Well, well isn't that know? something? Yeah. We're there? No, isn't that nice? <laughs> Say, we're not coming along to the pensione right now, Miss Hudson. We're going to stop off here and see some Venetian lace. Oh, yeah. it's the cutest shop, just cute. Oh, here's your stopping up place coming up now, Miss Hudson. Pensione Fiorini. Hi. Hi. Hello, I'm Jane Hudson. Uh, my travel agent must have sent a wire from... Oh, yes, of course, Miss Hudson. We have your room. Will you register, please? Here, just your name, where you're from, and passport number. Oh, it's so hot. Yes, it's very hot. I will fill in the rest. Buonasera, grazie. Giovanna! My husband used to say... If you're not going to fire her, the least you can do is to strangle her. You speak English so well. Thank you, but don't worry. Giovanna does not speak one word. The <laughs> valigia della signorina numero quattro. Va bene. Buonasera. Buonasera. Oh, let me help her. They're too heavy. Oh, for no. Her. She's thrown like an ox. Well, I'll take this other stuff. Thank you. Now, that's our dining room. And here we have our sitting room. Won't you come in, please? Thank you. Giovanna! Oh, boy, this is lovely. Good. Will you give me your things? Oh, thanks. I'm so happy to be here. Instead of in a hotel full of tourists. Like me. <laughs> oh, excuse me one moment. Cinzano. Do you know bourbon? Oh, yes. I smuggled it in. It's very good whiskey. Do you want some ice? No, thank you. I'm determined to learn to drink without it. You're very willing. Completely. Half Italian, half American. Is this your first trip to Europe? How did you guess? <laughs> you don't mind traveling all alone? No, I like it. Oh, I would hate it. I'm the independent type, always have been. You're a writer? No. Oh, fancy secretary, really. Salve. Here's looking at you. My. <laughs> this is nice. I keep saying that. I don't mind. This is my business. Oh, it has been my home for many years. But my husband died in the war, so since he's a, a pensione. Ah. Oh, not ah. 
I enjoy people. And it's very pleasant to make money without moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, this is Miss uh, Hudson. Hudson yeah. I'm Phil Yeager. Hello, Cookie. Be seeing you. Cute. Yes. Don't you want to see your room? Oh, thank you. Hey. Mm, this heat does things to me. He's an artist. They've been here for some time. And she's not singing, she's playing that terrible machine. I like the singing and I like the machine. It's Italy, isn't it? Is it? To me. <laughs> I put you high up so you will have plenty of air. Thank you. It can be very hot, you know. Uh-huh. Across the lagoon, you can see Murano. That's where they make the glass. And here, you have quite a nice view. Prego. Oh. Grazie. For what? For this. You know, I met a girl on the boat coming over. Uh, uh, in America, every female under 50 calls herself a girl. And after? <laughs> after, who cares? Well, anyway, this girl on the boat was waiting. For what? Oh, she was coming to Europe to find something. It was way back in the back of her mind. Past seeing things and getting some culture. That was up front about here. Buying perfume cheap about here and letting loose for once about... Well, we won't go into that, but way back. Way, way back in the back of her mind was something she was looking for. What? A wonderful, mystical, magical miracle. No. To do what? Beats me. <laughs> I guess to find what she'd been missing all her life. Well, I, I better take a shower. <laughs> yes. Do the Lido and the Galleria act Academia and the Church of the... what is it? Oh, they're all alike to me. You should see the b and Pardon? Oh, that's the big art exhibition. If I have to look at one more painting, I'll yip. Excuse me, but Mrs. Yeager's husband is an artist. Oh, oh. well said. Oh, pardon me, ma'am. The truth is, I don't understand pictures and I've got bad feet for standing. I know how you feel. But when I first fell in love with Eddie, I just had to get to like pictures. So I looked and looked. And then one day, a wonderful thing happened. I knew what I was looking at. Kind of. Well, would we have seen any of Mr. Yeager's paintings someplace? Well, he had a one-man show in New York. And he sold a painting to the Toledo Museum. You must be pretty successful. Successful? <laughs> that show was four years ago. Well, oh. come along, Lloyd. Oh, don't yes, go, okay, McElhenney. Just have a drink. I'd like to, but this wop food has wrecked my digestion. I... Oh, pardon me, ma'am. No disrespect intended. Well, Arrivederci. Oh. For sweet sake, Edith, you're always on the same oh, line. Oh, now, Lloyd, you just leave me be. How to make friends and influence people. Yeah. I'm sure he didn't know what he was saying. Of course he He's didn't. He's not a sensitive man. He has no heart. Not that much. His what food has ruined his miserable belly. He probably likes French food. I must say I did. But it's so refined. In Italy, you sit down to eat. And you eat a meal. In Paris, you sit down, and what do you eat? A sauce. And in America, this Mr. Bag, Mag, whatever it is, he sits down, and what does he eat? Pills. <laughs> Only pills. <laughs> and you want me to get excited about a man like that? Arrivederci! Ah, arrivederci! Have a drink. No, grazie. Prego? Hey, is that right? <laughs> right. <laughs> come on, Phil. We've got to get going. Oh, well, come on, you. cookies. Have a drink. It'll do you good. No, thanks. Prego, pretty Prego. No, no. Late for dinner. We'll take you up on that drink, though. Sure. Well, that leaves us. Or does it? I guess it doesn't. I'm dining with an old friend. Would you care to come with us? Oh, no, oh, thank you. when in Italy, you should meet Italians. You know, Signor Faustino is in the government. Oh, please join us. Who's company? Oh, Miss Hudson. Signor Faustino and I are... Well, for several years now, we've been... Uh, unexcited. Yeah. Well, by me, you're a twosome. 
Sure you won't have time for a short one? Yes, but I don't want it, thank you. Maybe I can persuade myself. Prego, grazie. Arrivederci! Arrivederci! How do you pronounce that? Arrivederci. Chi. <laughs> there are two people back in the States I wish were here. They're a darling couple. Rather like the Jaegers, really, only older. Not older than me. Nobody's older than me. <laughs> I am. And in Italy, age is an asset. Well, if it is, I'm loaded. Now, you do have to go. Are you sure you'll not come with me? Grazie tanto. Prego. Okay. I mean, va bene. <laughs> oh, there's no holding me. Well, I guess I'll have dinner by myself tonight. Don't let you run a rush. No, indeed. After sunset, she rushes around like an American. <laughs> she has a friend, Alfredo. And all day long, she's only recuperating herself from the night before. I should be so sick. <laughs> you know, Miss Hudson, those miracles, they can happen sometimes. But you must give a little push to help. My mother used to say things like that to me. Buonasera. Buonasera. Gondola, lady. Looking for something, lady? No. No. Look at me. Not today. Tonight. Not today, not tonight. Tomorrow night. He's back at night. Look, you be a good boy and run along home. Home. Oh, I got no home. You mean you've got no place to live? I live in a boat, Pascal lady. <laughs> okay. You take this and get some food with it. Food with it, you see? Some good nourishing food. Oh, no.
Piazza San Marco. Don't change a thing. Not one thing. No, madam. Photographs of the cells 
are on page 37 of your guidebooks. I'm off. Where you up to now? Shopping. Okie dokie. Hey, come in here. By myself, Cookie. Need it for me? I gave you yesterday. Then give me cigarette. You're too little to smoke. But I smoke. Not with my help. Just one cigarette is for my gun party. <laughs> you know a sucker when you see one. Hey! Easy does it. Grazie. Prego. Grazie tanto. You okay, lady? Salon, so cookie. Buongiorno, signorina. Che desidera? Oh, buongiorno. Um, uh, does anyone around here speak English? Yes. I wonder if you would be good enough to tell me the price of that, that red goblet in the window. One minute, please. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Uh, I want to ask the price of this goblet. For this, I ask 10,000 lire. It is 18 cents. Uh, May I? Please. It is very beautiful. It is a very beautiful color. Perhaps you would see the color better if you took off your glasses. Are you enjoying Venice, signorina? Yes, uh, um, yes, I am very much, thank you. It is the heart of Venice, the Piazza San Marco. Yes, I felt that. Oh, you feel Venice? That's a wonderful feeling, the feeling Venice gives. Um, have you a pair? Uh, two? Two? Oh, no, <laughs> I am sorry. This one is the only one I have. How much did you say it was? To you, 10,000 lire. It is genuine 18th century. Wrap it up. Hmm? I'll take it. You take it? At this price? That is the price, isn't it? <laughs> Excuse me, signorina. Have you bought many things in Italy? Well, no, I, I haven't. This is the first I've tried to buy. I just came yesterday. Forgive me, signorina. But in Italy, you must not say so quick. I take it. You must bargain. Why? It is part of the buying and selling. Well. I give it to you for 8,700 lire. No, you don't. Why? 
Because it's not fair. But I want to. Yes, but I bought it for 10,000 lira. Then I give it to you for 8,700 lira in honor of your first buying in Italy. Well, I give in. I, I mean, I give up. Um, uh, grazie. Prego. I will wrap it up. Uh, how? You will wrap it up. Uh, uh, wrap, wrap it up. <laughs> Thank you. Will you be staying long in Venice, Signorina? Well, that depends on... I mean, I, um... It's... it's I feel as if I could stay forever. That is the fact Venice has. That is her child. By the way, if it were possible to get another goblet, would you be still to have it? Oh, oh, yes, yes. I think it is just possible I may find one. Perhaps you could call again. Or perhaps I could send it to your hotel. Where do you stay? In Venice. What? I mean, I'm, I'm living in, a, in the um, Pensione Fiorini. Oh, yes, I know. Thank you. Well, we shall try and we shall hope. Thank you. May I? Thank you. Yes, thank you. Your glasses, signorina. Would you wear them or carry them? Carry them. Thank you. Why? Dearest Ben and Betty, Venice is unbelievable as fairy tale. How I wish you were here. This time, we'd be a quartet. Mio Amico has silver gray hair. Cookie, you're a very pretty girl. Yes, I know. But I'm not interesting looking like women in paintings. You are. Oh, go on. No, you are. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? Niente. Yeah! Say, someday when your fellow's busy with his palette, how about you showing me the town? Hey, Phil, Prado, huh? I've been Prado for ten minutes. Hello. Hi. I'll call a boat. Okay. We could go swimming. Sure. We're off to Harry's bar. The book says that's a must. Yeah. Hey, Phil! Okay! Will you excuse us? Sure, have fun. Be seeing you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hey, why don't I give Harry his big break tonight? You mind if I come along with you? I always buy my guides a drink. Sure. Well, we're meeting some people. I'll buy them a drink, too. Or are there too many of them? Just another couple. We're going on to dinner together. Sure. Have fun. Oh, Eddie. Well. Miss Hudson! Signora.
Good evening. Good evening. Evening. Gondola lady? Who? Oh. <laughs> you frightened me. How did you know I was here? All time I see signorina walking and walking. What is today, Gondola? It's bad, not so hot. Oh, I like it this way. Lady, you got to know brothers and sisters? Three, Cookie. You're very lucky. For three brothers and sisters, I got free park fifth pumpers. Present, souvenirs of Italy. You're impossible. Okay, okay. <laughs> now look, Cookie, I'm lost. Do you know the Campo Saint Barnabas? Campo Barnabas? Si. You take me there, okay? Si, un momento, signorina. I wash face. It's better. You want to wash face? Okay, I'll wash my face too. Hmm? Oh! Si, si. <laughs> this is si, si. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Say the cutest things. Look, take that and that. Hold that, and you stay here. Okay. Don't 
גם בשי מילידי, ואני סמיר דפיקולד פלידיס. You're in the way. You don't want my picture, lady? <laughs> What's your photo, lady? I am trying to take a picture of that shop. Sometimes I think you're very peculiar. Thanks, Cookie. Okay, shoot. Look, come here. Come here. Be a good boy. Stand over there and don't move and shut up. Go ahead now. Stop. Okay. Mama me. Good afternoon. Come, mister. Not so, Benny. I fell in a canal. Oh, yes, I was told. I am so sorry. You played um, hooky this afternoon. Well, I play hooky. I, I was at, at your shop. Didn't the boy tell you? Oh, yes, yes. He was very kind. He's my niece. Nephew. Nephew? Oh, mamma mia. <laughs> Nephew, of course. Just when I think I speak English like an American, something happens. <laughs> Anyhow, he's the son of my eldest sister. Bravo. Grazie. Pray go. That about concludes my entire performance in Italian. Oh. <laughs> um, shall I call somebody for you? Uh, who? I, I don't know. Um, Signora Fiorini? I scarcely know her. Oh. Do you want to call someone? No, no. I came to see you. Oh. Oh, you found another goblet. Oh, no, no, unfortunately, no. There are not many old goblets in Venice anymore, but we will look. Well, don't go to any trouble. For you, it is not trouble. May we go in? Oh, surely, surely. Very hot, huh? Yes. That's better, isn't it? Signor De Rossi, why did you come to see me? It is only natural. You are not going to keep buying glasses every day. No. So I came. But why? Why? Does it matter why? You knew I would. 
I did not. Huh. How can I explain? Maybe it is my English. Maybe it's mine. Listen, two nights ago I am in Piazza San Marco. You in Piazza San Marco. We look. Next day you are in my shop. We talk about glasses, we talk about Venice. But we are not speaking about them, are we? No. So last night I am in Piazza San Marco again. You are in Piazza San Marco again. Half of Venice is in Piazza San Marco again. But half of Venice was not in my shop this afternoon or I would be a rich man. I wanted to buy another glass. That's all. There are shops all over Venice. Did you look in any of them for your glass? No. You see? But you said that you would find one for me. That's why you came back? Yes. No other reason. I don't know what your experience has been with American tourists. My experience has been that the tourists have more experience than I. Can't we sit down? No. Oh, I have offended you. Oh, yes, you are sorry I am here. Well, then you are glad. It may be silly to you, but I... I am not an Italian. I am an American. I thought everything happened so fast in America. Not this sort of thing. Not to me. Oh, yes. I have offended you. Signor De Rossi, I am not a child. But I don't understand. Understand? Why must you understand? The most beautiful things in life are those we do not understand. When we spoke yesterday, I knew you were sympathetic. Is that something you understand? Yes, it means I'm like a sister to you. I have four sisters, and I'm not looking for another. Oh, stop. You were making a joke. You make many jokes, but inside, I think you cry. That's nice. That's why you are sympathetic. Miss Hudson, you asked me why I came here to see you. Because you attract me. Why? Because you do. You Americans are even more suspicious than the French. But listen, we saw each other, we liked each other. This is so nice. How can it be wrong? Will you do me the honor of seeing me this evening? Oh, buongiorno! Hiya, Miss Hudson. Oh, boy, what a day we had. We've been shopping. No kidding, Edith. Let him guess. <laughs> Signor De Rossi, Mr. and Mrs. McElhenney. Welcome, star. <laughs> Bene, grazie. Well, it's so nice to meet Italians in Italy. <laughs> Daddy? Yeah, glad to know you, Mr. De Rossi. How do you do? Oh, gee, it's hot. I guess we kind of overran our schedule. What did you buy? <laughs> glass, glass, and more glass. <laughs> she even sent home a chandelier. And before that, we did the glass factories and the picture galleries, the whole works. The pictures were just marvelous. Now, you own up, Lloyd. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, that's right. That place certainly sold me art. Academy of Fine Arts is the Oh, name. yes. That you got to see, Miss Hudson. Come rain, come snow, that you got to see. Boy, oh, boy, pictures. Rooms full of pictures. Hundreds of pictures. All done by hand. And the uh, cutest glass. Now, come on, I just got to oh, show you no, what I've got. Not just yet. Now, either <laughs> oh, but that. they're so pretty, Lloyd. What are they? Venetian glass. Oh, please, please don't bother to unwrap it. Why, it's no bother. I'll just show you one. And you've got to do this place. You know, you stand right there and you watch them. And they put this stuff on long poles and then they heat it in a furnace. And then presto change your glass. And such colors, you have no idea. There. Isn't that exquisite? Stunning. Hardly enough, I was looking for one just like it. Well, they'd be only too happy to make them for you. Why, I bought half a dozen. They practically 
exactly make it for you while you stand there. <laughs> if I may ask, how much did you pay? Oh, too much. Oh, now, Lloyd, honestly. You know, they wanted 11,500 lira apiece, but you never give them what they want. You just beat them down every time. Oh, well, I'm terribly sorry. No, no, Italians love to bargain. But how much did you pay finally? Well, 10,000. Oh, uh, it's fair. Oh, heck, Edith. We missed something out. We never got around to the National Library. Oh, well, we can get that over with in the morning before we catch the train. Oh, sometimes I think a schedule in Venice is just, well, all wrong. Oh. Prego. Why, grazie. <laughs> well, arrivederci. Arrivederci? Why, Lloyd McElhenney. <laughs> I know a little shop where Mrs. McElhenney could have saved 7,800 lira. I did not sell you glass, which was made yesterday. Of course not. It was 18th century, Cookie. Do not call me Cookie. It's politer than some other names that come to mind. Now you are angry. No. Nope. And suspicious again. Angry, no. Suspicious, yes. You can always find something to be suspicious of in well, anyone. I can, and this doesn't help. Suspicion will be... What do you want me to feel? How do you expect me to feel? In Venetian glass, the same design is used over and over for years and years. Your goblet is 18th century. You can believe me or not. Huh. No, please, believe me. Did you do me the honor of taking coffee with me tonight in the piazza? There is a concert tonight. All Rossini. Do you like Rossini? It is a beginning to hear music with someone. Relax. Relax, and the world is beautiful. Take a deeper breath, life for singing. There. It is not very much to have coffee with me, is it? Oh. What happens after that? Happens or does not happen? dreamed of back in Akron <laughs> you are a surprising person surprising mm -hmm. every woman should surprise a man at least once how many times have I surprised you I think you surprise me all the time sometimes you surprise me pleasantly uh, well <laughs> here it is too many pleasant surprises. Oh. 
gardenia, orchidelle, garofani. Which flower rose, do you prefer? Signorina. Um, well, which one do you think I should have? Choose. I think I know which one you choose. You do. Perhaps I might surprise you. Perhaps. Choose. Perhaps not. Oh. Surprised? I am afraid so. <laughs> grazie. Prego, signorina. Ecco. Tante grazie, mille grazie, di verissimo. Which flower did you think I would choose? The rose? The carnation? Oh, the orchid. Oh, dear, I should have known. Well, for once I wasn't a true American. Why did you choose that flower? I once went to a ball. Not just an ordinary dance, but a, a real ball. It was the first one I'd ever been to. Somehow, I got it into my mind that I had to wear a gardenia. I don't know why. I guess I'd read about gardenias in a book or something. I must have. I didn't even know what they were. And did you wear one? Gardenias turned out to cost two dollars a piece. And the boy I was going with was still in college. But it was a nice dream. Well, now you have your gardenia. Yes. Everything happens sooner or later. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> Everything happens to him who waits. Hmm. Let's take a walk. All right. That's where I was born. You see that window with the pots of flowers? Oh, yes. 64 steps up. I used to count them. <laughs> that was a lot of steps. It still is. I moved back there a year ago. Oh. Doing? Is it a festival or something? No, they are just having fun. They'll have their supper somewhere on the canal. They will sing songs, they look at the stars, and perhaps, uh, well, it is dark on the canal. When I know that. Oh, oh, oh! Oh. I'll catch it from the steps. Oh, it doesn't matter. Say it again. Say what? My name. <laughs> why did you do that? Why? Yes, why did you do that? Like that. I don't think I want to see you again. You don't? Oh, but I...
Tomorrow? Eight. I'm very, very sorry. If you're really sorry, you buy three squats, ten dollars. I must fly. Where you go? Um, I, um, I have an appointment. Take my photo. Lady, lady, oh, camera. Oh, I must have forgotten that too. Crazy. Rossi can't make it. Oh, no, he will be here. But he must be a little late. Oh. Well, it was very nice of you to come and tell me. Not at all. Won't you have some coffee? No, thank you. Please sit down. Thank you. Cigarette? Americane? Yeah. Oh, thank you. American cigarettes are marvelous. But... I will save you for later, if you don't mind. Permit me? Do you like working for um, Mr. De Rossi? Oh, very much. Do you think that Signor De Rossi is a nice man? Oh, yeah. And he has a great uh, regard for you, too. <laughs> you had only to see how upset he was when he knew he would be late. <laughs> he didn't want to be, but my most little sister, she was taken ill. Oh. Well, it's nothing, really, but... He worries so much about the children, you know. He does. Always. He worries about whose children? His. Us. Us? Who are us? I am the eldest, Vito. And how is your mother? Fine, thank you. So am I. Except for the hole in my head. Excuse me, please, my English I'm is not... Sorry. Look, um... Uh... I think you better tell your father not to come. Huh? But Please. he will not be long. No, no, it's all right. Just um, tell him not to come. Perhaps I tell him to come tomorrow night. No. Thank you for your trouble. That's all right. Buona sera. Buona sera. Cognac. 
Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, dear. What's the matter with you? Marital troubles. I wish I had them. Matter of fact, I do. There you go. Thanks. Are you cry again? You cry. I'm sunk. Oh, not you. You, not me. <laughs> I'm a million laughs all from the heart. But everybody loves you. I know. They do. I don't want everybody. I can't handle a crowd. <laughs> I can't even handle... Here I go again. Everything goes crazy for me. Everything always goes crazy for me. I've got to be everything to someone I love. You've got to be everything. Is that crazy? Yeah, that's crazy. Good, bad, or indifferent. There are two of you, Cookie. What do you mean? Two. That's the loveliest number in the world. Don't push your luck too far. Everything doesn't go crazy. You just ask too much. What's the matter? What did I say wrong? Nothing. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Nothing. It's me. Something happened to you? No, no, nothing happened to me. That's my history. Have a stale potato chip. <laughs> Listen, I don't love you. Who asked? It was very pleasant that other time. Andiamo? Mauro! Eccomi! Gondola! Occhi d'occhi! The signora? Signore. Oh. Oh, grazie, grazie tanto. Ok, ragazzo. Really. Buonasera, signora. Buonasera, signor. <laughs> What'd you get that for? It's mine. What did you get that for? Let go. That's dirty. I walk, I got the gondola. Is that what you do? Is that your work? What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You stop that, do you hear? You stop that. What? What did he do? Those, those two, those two, and he's just a baby, a child. Signora Ferini and, and the painter. For that you're angry the child. What's the matter, lady? You Stay crazy? Zito. Bye. Something happens to this city at night. Are you going to be angry with Venice now? Your friend would do the same thing in Kansas City. Not in a gondola. That's an advantage of Venice. Jane. Don't call me Jane. Miss Hudson, you are shocked. No, disappointed. No, shocked. I don't like dishonesty. You are not his wife. Why didn't you tell me you were married? Oh, I see. Why? Why? I was... I was afraid. I was afraid if you knew too soon, you would end us before we began. Now I'm afraid I was right. No wonder you approve of that sort of thing. Approve? What Signora Fiorini does in gondolas is not my business. She lives, I live. I approve of living. Pretending everything is fine and dandy just because you want to do it. You Americans get so disturbed about sex. We don't take it lightly. Take it. Don't talk it. My wife and I do not live together. Why? Why? It is an arrangement we have come to. Does your wife have friends? Naturally. Gondola friends? No. You're shocked. No, disappointed. No, shocked. Your sense of humor is coming back. Good. I'm sorry yours is leaving. Listen to me. Stop behaving like a schoolgirl. What my wife does is not your business. What Signora Fiorini does is not your business. You come here and what you do? You ride in a gondola and you sigh, Oh, Venice, so beautiful, so romantic. Oh, these Italians, so lyrical, so romantic. Such children. 
and you dream of meeting someone you want. Young, rich, witty, brilliant, and unmarried, of course. But me, I'm a shopkeeper. Not young, not rich, not witty, not brilliant, and married, of course. But I am a man, and you are a woman. What you say? It's wrong, it's wicked, it's this, it's that. You are like a hungry child who is given ravioli to eat. No, you say, I want beef steak. My dear girl, you are hungry. Eat the ravioli. I'm not that hungry. We are all that hungry, Miss Hudson. There is a noise in your head. Be quiet. Let it happen. I want it to happen. I want it to happen. Don't you think I do? Then? It just... It just isn't the way I thought it would be. I'm sorry. But I... I come from such a different world and I'm not going to be here long. So? It is better to take home only Venetian glass? For a lady who is not so angry, you do that very well. Do I? Please, let me take you out somewhere. No. Please. No, I'm going to go for a walk alone. Please leave me alone. It is very difficult. Let me take you for a drink. No. A little something to eat. No. There are fireworks tonight. I don't care. Oh. This is ridiculous. I am afraid it is. Gondola, signore, gondola! No. Guardi, che due gattini. Che meraviglia! Guardi, due schiavini. Tu, girate, girate così. Guardi, il succedere. Guardi che meraviglia che è. <ride> e questo guarda le ridò tutti guarda le sapete guarda le sapete eh? è la pallina <ride> Thank you. 
Do you know the words? Oh, yes. This song it says I that... know what it says. Have you heard it in America? No. Oh, see. <laughs> see. <laughs> you sing it. How do you know I can? Because you're Italian. Buongiorno, signorina. Buonasera, Giovanna. È stato bello? Molto, molto bello. Buonanotte, signorina. Buonanotte, Giovanna. Now, what does that mean? The island where the rainbow fell.
It's very late. We ought to go. Are you asleep? Fast asleep. You slept all day yesterday. True. You sleep all day and then you don't want to sleep at night. <laughs> Renato, mm. you promised to take me to see the lace making, and now it's too late. I will take you tomorrow. You promise? No. Now, do you promise? Well, that makes it more difficult. If you don't take me, I'll never kiss you again. Yes, you will. Yes, I guess I will. Okay. Park of his car. <laughs> no, thank you. No costume, nothing. This is for me, present. Why? Because I like. Ah. Uh. You okay, Doc, lady? Sure, I'm okay, Doki. Vicino. Vicino! Signori in carotta! Parte dal binario 5, direttissimo straordinario per Padova di Cinzia a Verona Milano. Parte dal binario 5, direttissimo straordinario per Padova di Cinzia a Verona Milano. 